Okay, so I don't think this is a thing that will happen, like, ever, because this would basically be uh, suicide uh, for a country's economy. But, um, with, uh, like, President Trump, uh, you know, blaming violent video games for mass shootings, it makes me think. What would happen if video games were, became illegal, or at least violent video games like 18 rated video games or mature rated you know, games with guns in them? So I'll be going down both scenarios. The first scenario will be if video games in America were just flat out banned, like no video game at all, games at all. And the second scenario will be um, if not all video games were banned, but video games with guns, so like you could still have Mario and Pokemon, but no specifically va extremely violent games with guns and all that were allowed in it. Well, you know, allowed those kind of games. So, again, the first scenario. So, um, somehow, like, Donald Trump was like on 50 different drugs and somehow got the, um, oh, what's it? the Supreme Court on the set exact same drugs and then they all decided how about we stop how about we stop um, mass shootings by banning video games or something stupid I, and yeah and I really don't think like I said I really don't think this will happen and I do think Donald Trump saying that buying video games causing mass shootings is like the dumbest thing he's ever said um, but uh, yeah let's just go on continue on um, so, they make all video games just flat out illegal. This would be extremely bad for America. Let's talk about economy first. The economy would take a massive hit. It wouldn't exactly crash, but it would take a massive hit. With video games being one of the biggest markets, making the big one of the biggest markets on the world flat out illegal, yeah, that's going to hit your um, economy. Like, the... Uh, the value of the US dollar is going to drop. I mean, I don't think it's going to drop like 90, 80%, but I'm, I would say it would drop at least 10, 20%. Um, just, I'm, I'm not that, I'm not a major economist. Like if you know a bit more about economy than me and uh, could actually map out, know how to uh, calculate exactly how much the um, economy, how much the, the value of the US dollar would drop, then feel free to press that down in the comment section, but that's just my guess. So, you know, the dollar would drop, you know, a good bit. And then you have the problem that every video game that was ever bought and every video game console that was ever bought is now illegal. So you have to have police go around and get each video game and console and handheld and destroy them or dispose of them in some other way. You probably destroy because most consoles are region locked apart from the Switch. Um, so you couldn't exactly just send them to a different country because they wouldn't even work in that country. So they would probably be destroyed, and whoever owned the con console, owned them, and did not hand them in would probably be arrested. Now, this would have similar parallels to when. Um, to when they. when the. You know, back when alcohol and beer was made illegal in the U.S., that was uh, to um, moonshine being created, and I do think that um, I indie games or um, especially Switch games, being as like I said, the Switch isn't really region locked, and the modded consoles that doesn't have region lock, uh, region lock, importing games from other countries, uh, and they're selling them on the black market that would become massive like that would be a billion dollar industry probably because you'd be just be able to sell tons of them you'd be one of the few places they could get them from um, and it would take on a similar you know mentality to the moonshine they make their own games or they import games and the um, and homebrew consoles and um, modified consoles from other countries and uh, sell them probably at the dead of night like they did with Moonshine um, and that's why it was actually called Moonshine because they, they would usually transport it uh, during night time um, so these would probably be called like 
Moonlight Games or something to that effect. And yeah, this will not end well for America. Or America. Um, we only got other country that did this, but like I'm saying, this is just basically just focusing on America right now. Um, and it, uh, yeah, so the black market industry will just explode. Um, and then you, and that's if the gaming community doesn't rebel against this new law. Um, if the gaming community actually, you know, didn't take it lying down, you'd be having riots, protests all over America. Um, uh, and then you'll see some people moving out of America into other countries like England, um, just so they can play video games. Um, so yeah, it would not go down well at all. Um, uh, and the, the, the same thing, relatively speaking, would happen with uh, uh, if they only ban violent video games with guns like cards, um, Fortnite and all that, if they only ban those kind of games. Then it would still happen but not to as drastic of a severity because you'd still have like um, Mario, Crash Bandicoot, um, Spyro, platformers, you know, those ty ty types of games that would still be legal and you would still be able to have your Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, um, PlayStation 4, but there would be certain games you couldn't have on them, so um, if you had those games you would either have to hand them in or you'd be arrested, like I said earlier. Um, so people who are fans of, who are fans of like platformers and not really too big a fans of shooter games yeah, nothing really changes for them. Like, they, if they ever do do anything, it'll just be to help their others, the other people who do like them, which I could see some people doing, but I can't really see a lot of the, you know, platformer, you know, those kind of people who don't like plat uh, shooter games really getting much involved in this. Um, but yeah, everything else would be the same, pretty much, other than the black market wouldn't be a, like, billion dollar industry, it would probably be, like, half a billion dollar industry, like, it would probably, it would still do, it would still be a really big industry, importing, um, first person shooters, and shooting up games, and shoot, you know, just shooting games in general, and selling them by Moonlight, um, but it wouldn't be as big if just all the video games were like that ban, and you wouldn't see as many people, people leave in America to go to a different country, like England, and the economy wouldn't take as hard of a hit. But all of this would still happen, and you know, you have a few riots and protests probably, or at least smaller ones. Um, yeah, the, the economy would still go down, still not as much, but it would still go down. The black market uh, industry would uh, boom, but not as big as a boom. Um, people would leave America, but not as many people. And that uh, there would still be riots and protests, but not as many riots and protests as there would be if uh, you know, just all video games were flat out banned. And yeah, that's basically what I think would happen if America did ban video games. But tell me, what do you think? Uh, do you think all of this would happen, or none of it would happen? Like, do you think, like, um, even if America did ban video games, they wouldn't take on. Um, the America when you take on the attitude of um, when they did when they made alcohol illegal, illegal and you know, or do you think that uh, I'm right in this and that, that this would probably happen and it would be extremely bad for America because, like I said, the economy would go down, um, black market would go up, riots would go up, protests would go up, and people would leave in the country, just generally. Anyway. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.